breaking happening right now Iberian in Anambra state and it has been gathered that suspected Fulani Earthmen allegedly attacking residents of Iberian town in Anambra state all right the news in details local residents revealed that the attack have prompted students at the nearby Odumegu Ojuku University to take their belongings and run for their lives. All right, and then the assailants are reportedly going from house to house killing innocent citizens in Igbariam, which is reportedly at OE local government area of Anambra State, close to the famous Akuzu Sas. All right. Other reports indicate that a Fulani family was killed in Igbariam, Anambra State, near Udumegu Ojuku University, but some individuals are trying to twist the narrative. Well, the family was reportedly living close to student lodges for a year without any incident. All right, and then as it is, News Niger could not independently verify the claims on social media as at the time of filling in this report. All right, and then as it is, there's been a lot of reactions on to this. Okay, and then a lot of people have been able to say that this attack is coming from the Fulanese and the opposition political party. All right, there's a video going viral on to this as the Fulani S men are busy walking around to kill people from house to house. All right, and then as it is, a lot of people have been like, what is going on in this country? What is happening in Nigeria? Well, it is better everybody go in separate ways. We've heard a lot of things concerning this. Some people have been of the opinion that, well, the, ex the exact people that are doing this operation are the enemy of the government and then some people have even you know said it to be that these same set of people that are you know, invading people's houses they are international fulani that's another one a lot of people are like which one is international fulani that this set of fulani men are coming from outside the country to operate well and then some people have been like okay who not give them you no know, access to the country how did they enter this country and uh, if not that our governors and the likes of them know about it that they are just trying to cause confusion in the land all right and then as it is everybody has been running elter scatter in the environment right now as we speak and then as you can see the student of Odumegu University close to where it's happening. They have started carrying their belongings and then running out of the environment. So as it is right now, majority of people are not fine. People are suffering. People don't have rest of minds. And then as it is, a lot of that's why a lot of people have been agitating that let there be separation. Let everybody go in separate ways. How are we going to continue like this? Okay, fine. They don't want the ESN to operate. Okay. What about the Ebu Behago security network? What are their functions? Have they started? When are they going to resume? Let's see what they want to do. That's another thing. A lot of people have been you know, asking different kind of questions simply because we can't continue like this. And then the whole thing has been so frustrating to the extent that everybody is now running Elta Skater. All right. And then everybody is now calling on the governor of emo state to do something the governor of hanambra state to wake up the governor of abia state and then the rest of the governors Egunugu, and the likes of them that they need to wake up this is the time the people want them this is the time the people need them to put action in places well and then as it is you can see them they are walking from house to house that's what we have gathered so far. Then who are they looking for? That is the problem. They are looking for a human being to devour. They are looking for human being to kill. And then in a country whereby we have you no know, leaders, a country whereby we have things 
that people that are saddled with the responsibility to take care of us and they look at what is going on in the country but a lot of people in their own environment they might not know what is happening but as far as this area Anambra state is concerned a lot of havoc is being perpetrated and then a lot of people have been like god what is going to happen to us in this nation is better we separate all right and then as it is there's there are still been uh, some cases whereby the agitator of the Odudua Republic have been facing a lot also well, because the early house of this morning it was gathered that some gunmen invaded the house of Sunday Igbo talking about the Yoruba activists right now and then as it is according to Koiki Media it has been gathered that they were unable to penetrate but they can always do what they can do gunshot everywhere outside but they can't penetrate and a lot of them have been like this time around there's no going back this time around we must continue our agitations there's nothing anybody can tell us all right and then uh, many people many things many things have been heard rumors that the sponsor in fact the people that have been behind this you no know, this uh southwestern state disturbances the stopping of sunday boats and the rest of them have been no other person than bola ahmed tinumbu that's what had been gathered but a lot of people are still like hmm what is actually going on is it because of position hmm are you even sure that you are going to see the light of that day you don't even know but yet you want to be killing people eh, and there yeah. well and that has been that until anambra state it's happening right now i think we are praying that the government should try as much as possible to visit this area because we can't afford to lose more souls in this community in nigeria as a whole so everything needs to be done properly and uh, that has been neat well it is gathered that the fulani s men they are working from house to house moving from one house to another killing people hmm. and now a lot of people have been warning their their friends around there to leave that area all right and then as it is what more can we say on to this one everybody is not like what is going on all right well the agitator of the yoruba nation has said it that come 2023 presidency hmm, there is no election if you try to campaign you waste your money hmm. all these people are not joking anyway they are so serious about it that if you try to campaign say okay i want to be the next president you are on your own because as far as southwest is concerned nobody is voting for tinumbu that is what they are saying so far on this one well a lot of things have been happening but we are praying that the good lord will put a stop to this in no time all right my people down and that has been it on this one meanwhile let me have more take from you on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks always